Hi, my name is Monica. Welcome back to Suds and Bees. Uh, today I will be making an Easter soap. Um, I will be using a small mold. This one is 595 grams or 21 ounces. Um, so I will be using clear melt and pour, which is detergent free. And in this little container, I have uh, poured a 50-50 blend of uh, monkey farts and fruit slices. Um, both scents are very fruity smells, but they smell uh, pretty different. Uh, but together, they uh, make a really, really nice blend. Okay, so for the base, I have melted um, 300 grams of the clear melt and pour and added a uh, brown mica. I'm just going to stir it. I'll be adding my fragrance oil. I am adding 2% fragrance oil to the whole soap. So this is a total of 6 grams, 3 grams of monkey forest and 3 grams of fruit slices. You want to make sure that this is well, well incorporated so um, it has a nice scent throw when you smell the soap. I don't like adding more than 2% of these two blends because, of this blend, I'm sorry, because it is a very strong scent. And it does not fade um, too much like other scents do. Okay, go ahead and pour it. Spray it, get rid of the bubbles, and we'll be back to pour in the next layer. See you soon. Welcome back. So the brown has solidified. It's still a little bit um, soft underneath. I can tell when I'm touching it here. Um, I did scratch it on the top just so um, everything else will stick. Um, I melted about 60 grams of just clear. This is not fragrance at all. We're just going to use this as soap. Um, I've also shredded uh, 64 grams uh, of soap. I added a little bit of a different green. Um, you do want to melt about 200 grams, um, color it and scent it, and then uh, slice it. Otherwise, it's going to be too hard uh, to hold it and, and slice it or shred it. Um, and I use this little tool here. Um, I guess you use this for vegetables or zucchini to make zucchini noodles. Um, so I have this to shred uh, my soaps. Um, so I did that last night. Um, so let's see how this works out. So I have my clear base here. We are at 128, so we're good to go. I'm gonna spray it with alcohol a little bit, and remember I scratched it a little bit already, so. So here we are dealing with 60 grams of uh, melt and pour. Uh, we have to do more later. I'm kind of playing it by ear. Let like that in. And I only have a little bit of the dark green for the for the grass. because I, I mainly want it to be light green. And honestly, I just did the dark green just right now before I turned on the camera. I figured it'd be kind of cute. So right now I'm just spraying, um, I'm just spraying all the, the grass with alcohol. So it sticks. Uh, we're going to throw a little bit more. I'll just spray just in case. 
And if you never made melt and pour before, um, the alcohol does evaporate. So don't freak out. I see some people in the comments sometimes freaking out about adding so much alcohol to melt and pour. But it literally evaporates. And this is 99%, so it evaporates really fast. Okay. So I don't know if you've noticed, I've actually marked my loaf here, and this is each soap, so that'll guide me on where I want to put my embeds. And I did create some embeds for for this soap that are really cute. I created them about, I think like a week ago, but I've been so busy with other projects that um, I just haven't been making soap. I built a bench out of cinder blocks in my backyard. We just got a new fence put in. So I wanted a bench in the pool area. I'll put a picture of that later. And I made a really cool chandelier out of solar lights. I have to say that turned out pretty cool. So I'll put a picture of that later as well. So I've been DIYing a lot for the yard. So now we're putting a little clear on here, just you know, just a little bit, just so it sticks. And it's starting to solidify, which eh, I'm not happy about. Okay. A little bit there in the corner. There. Hopefully I won't lose it, all these when I cut the soap. See, I'm already. I need to melt some more clear. So apparently, 60 grams was not enough. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and melted another uh, 18 grams of clear. It's still a little bit hot. Um, I did make some embeds for this soap. Um, so here's the bunny. And here's the little booty in his tail. So cute. A little booty in his tail right there. Um, you could paint these pink after you put them on the mold. Um, I just didn't have time again. I've, I've been busy with other stuff, so I'm just going to make them white. I may paint them pink after I cut the soap. We'll see. And then here's his little ears. Um, again, you can make uh, this part pink as well. You can paint it after uh, you make the mold. You can't do it within the mold. It's just too difficult. I, I tried it in failed like 10 times, maybe not, not 10 times, maybe like four times. So I just gave up and just made, made them all white. So I made this one out of uh, goat's milk. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a little hole. Oh, maybe not here, maybe here. Little hole. I should have done this before I pour the melt and pour. Note to self. Um, I did save more grass though, just in case I need more grass. And I'm going to dip the bunny. On here, I should have sprayed the bunny with alcohol, but. You know the bunny <laughs> the bunny's too fat. <laughs> oh poor bunny. He's too fat. Okay, here we'll we'll do this. It's okay, we're just gonna have to cut the soap. And these I saved, um, I want to adjust them once I cut the soap, so then it looks cute. It doesn't look like just, you know, just cut. So there's the ears. I'm going to spray this guy and dip him in here. I'll have the bunny's ears like this. I think this mold 
Maybe too small. Actually, I'm putting the ears on the wrong way. Holy moly. I wonder if I should just redo him. Bunny fail. Bunny fail. Sorry, bunny. So maybe, let me think about this. Let me pause, y'all. I need to think. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I had to think about this for about 10 minutes. Um, I went ahead and melted another 40 grams of melt and pour because the design is going to change. So what I've done is I just stuck the little ears, um, I hope you can see them, right there. Um, and it's gonna, I stuck them on each bar of soap. Um, I didn't do the last two because I wanted to show you guys how I'm doing this. And what I will be doing once I cut the soap is I'm going to stick his little booty um, outside the grass. So that way he looks like he's, you know, because he's just too fat to to put him on, on, on a little bar. His little booty is so cute. <laughs> I love this mold. Um, so I would only have like two two bars. If I, if I did it after, you know, measuring everything, I guess I didn't really think it through. Um, I'm not going to edit this part of the video because I want you all to see how, um, you know, we all go through this when we're making soap. So if you come, if you do decide to make this soap, um, don't pour the melt and pour like I did earlier. Um, just pour in your grass. And then put in the little ears, and then uh, pour the melt and pour, the, the clear melt and pour in later, so you can hold the ears as well. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm just dipping the little ear on the clear melt and pour uh, to use it like glue. And make sure that you... Uh, Ah, he's falling. Make sure that you put the ears within where the where you're gonna cut the bar. Film again, so we're gonna have to hold him for a minute. And this is why I didn't film the whole thing, cause I didn't want to bore you guys. Oh, is he in the middle? Yeah, he's in the middle. Okay, so last one. So we're going to put him right here. I can't tell if this guy... I kind of feel like this guy should be over here more. Otherwise it's going to seem like the bunny has a really short body. So uh, it's spring now. I don't know if you all know I live out in the country. And we get a ton of bunnies out here. They are adorable. One day I came out of my house, and I kid you not, there were literally like 15 bunnies outside my door. I had to do a double take because I, you know, I was like, is this really happening? Okay, got a little something on the ear there. Okay. Uh, we're gonna pour. We're gonna spray the whole bar because I want. Um, everything to go, to penetrate inside because now we're going to put um, this little back end on there. Try not to get them on the ears like I just did. But we do want to get um, all the way out where the bars are going to be cut. I'm really hoping this turns out the way I envisioned it. 
But you know, with soap, you never know until you cut it. I'm going to bang it a little bit to make sure it all goes, it's all spread out correctly. Please work. Okay. So I will leave it to dry for about four hours. Um, maybe till tomorrow. Um, and then we'll come back and put the little tail, the little back of the bunny on. Oh, also, uh, also I've made um, some carrots that are obviously really huge for this little bunny, but uh, I thought it would be cute to put it on the other side of the of the soap. That was the original design, but uh, we'll see what we come up with. Okay, see you when we cut it. Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so it's the next day um, and I cut the little Easter soap. As you can see here, I have the little ears on there. And I will be putting um, the little back of the bunny right here. So he looks like he's like digging into the, the grass. So I'm going to go ahead and turn all these over. And I do have some uh, melting for here. It's not fragrance or anything. I'm just using it as glue. And I have a uh, little extra grass. Um, I did cut it a little bit with some scissors just to try and expand the volume because uh, I'm a little worried I won't have enough for all four soaps. In fact, I think I might cut it a little bit more. Okay. So, and you see how the glycerin, the uh, clear um, glycerin soap has uh, covered the grass, so that's going to help me put the little bunnies on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scratch all of them a little bit just to help it stick. And I'm only going to spray the bunny. I don't, I don't think I want to spray the soap because sometimes it just gets a little too slippery. So we're going to dip. Dip the bunny and put him like so. Make sure he's not twisted so he doesn't look like he's broken. Hold him down. Then do the same thing. Now well, my gloves are getting full. A little bit of more, okay. Keep coming on. Scratch here a little bit. I'm not going to put too much. Then grab some of my grass and I have no idea I want to stick it on but just bear with me.
I'm going to have to trim some of these a little bit more. Everything's getting stuck to my gloves. Okay. So this is a little solidified. I'll just pour it a tiny bit just to make sure the grass sticks. We don't want to put too much. Oh, like that. Ah. We can all learn together, make messes together. I think this is what I was going for. Yep. Now, as you can see, he looks a lot better because now he looks like he's digging through the grass. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest and I'll speed up the camera so you all don't have to be bored. Okay, so we uh, glued all the grass, and so what I'm going to do um, on this side is, um, I did cut the carrots, um, I cut the end of the carrot because they were, they were way too big. So what I will do is I will glue um, this carrot here. Maybe here, so he's not really, he's trying to find it. Um, and then I'll put some little grass here. Actually, I should. So I just dipped the carrot in the clear melt and pour just to use it as glue. And I'm just going to hold them because I don't want to lay the soap down on the on the bunny's booty. So let me go ahead and finish this uh, and I'll come back. Okay, so I uh, glued the carrot. Um, I did have to wait a little bit for this guy to dry um, very well because I did have to put him down like this um, to put the grass on there, to let the grass dry because I decided to put grass on the other side at the last minute. But here you go. Here's the bunny looking for his carrot. There we are. Um, 
stay tuned for pictures of my center block bench and my solar power chandelier. I will put those at the very end. Uh, but here you have it. We just made, where's my carrot, um, Easter melt and pour soap. Thank you for watching. See you next time.